Hey everybody, welcome back to Chained Echoes, an RPG in the 16-bit style, with a lot of uh, a lot of good and a few few bits of bad, I guess, <laughs> is where I stand on it so far. Uh, last time we had made our way to this western section of Shambhala, uh, the floating sky island, and we had completed a challenge on the reward board to defeat five monkeys uh, with just Eggle and Rob. Uh, we're back to our standard formation here, and we are going to continue exploring, trying to find the second of the two anti-air cannons to turn it off so that we can use our sky armors here. So, heading out, it looks like we could go left and then down and maybe take a quick peek up in the north here to see what's, what's going on up here. We've got, yeah, there's a whole second section up here with the research facilities, but I'm guessing we can't get there yet. Yeah, we can't get there until we have our sky armors. So let's head back down and head to the left. Continue exploring, continue looking for pathways and moving islands and all that good stuff and see if we can't find our way to this second aircraft uh, thing. All right, we've got another set of five monkeys here, but fortunately this time uh, we can go ahead and use everybody. So, how do we start here? I guess we'll start by grabbing all the hate. And then our girl here can use Blade Reflection to give us an early advantage. Uh, our friend can use, I think maybe... Well, we could give everybody dodge or we could give him additional attack. I think... Yeah, let's use attack stance on Glenn and then we'll cover him with Eggle on Eggle's second attack. Or second turn, rather. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and... Now, if I... Hmm. These guys are weak to dark. Let's open up with a bee sting on the one that we counterattack. That'll let her get an Ei Jitsu in. Wow, very nice. 1,200 crit. Uh, then we can, I guess, break this guy's armor. Focus in on him. Oh, we're overheated. That's not good. Yikes. Okay, uh, we need to swap out here and use probably Dark Scythe, or no, Dark Spear is probably the way to go. Uh, another bee sting, I think, down here. Uh, probably another armor break. There we go. That's that's our overdrive managed. And we can polish off uh, our friend up top. And Eggle, I think, can first aid himself. Uh, looks like we need more overdrive management here. Swap him out, and what does she have? An X slash. Very nice. Okay, for you, uh, we'll heal all, and then we'll go straight into damage dealing to finish some of these guys off. Him taken care of. Wow, that's 1,400 damage. That's amazing. Uh, for Eggle here, we don't have Dark on him, so we can use... Uh, they're strong against water. Let's go ahead and use Terra here. Yeah, he just doesn't do a lot of damage, but that's okay. He's a tank. He's not really supposed to. Who's paralyzed? Nobody. Then Kesiguri it is. Very nice. Let's drop. What do we do here? Wind attack. Sure. Whatever. That's not bad. Okay, and now we're ready to finish things off. Damn, she's on fire. Oh. 
Okay. I should have checked. I can't remember whether or not they can be canned. The ancient turtle we canned for, uh, for an ability for Tomkey, but I didn't check them. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, money and defense up. Very nice. Okay. From over here, where do we go from here? Is there a drop? Yeah, there's another drop. Okay. This should be the second cannon. And with that, we should now be able to summon our Sky Armors. Okay, it looks like we do have a buried treasure here. There we go. That was another reward board reward. And then I guess... Yeah, now we can go ahead and summon these and fly around. Let's head up here. I think here's the last treasure we're looking for. Look at this. Golden Breastplate. Leather gear and mage's garb. Okay. Monster fangs. Drop down and pick up whatever this is. Okay. So, we're now free to fly around. I guess probably we want to head... Yeah, now we want to head north. Okay. So, let's grab up the, uh, the old sky armors and fly up north. Okay. Oh, here's Mato leading the way. We're close to the ruins. The church has built a facility on top of the entrance. We have to go through it first. The facility? Will the church let us pass? I'll make them. Don't worry. I understand, Sir Egil. And so you've spent half of your life in Dorver. Yes, I was sent to the surface to gather wisdom so the Sova could learn more of the world. Somehow, I ended up in Sir Isaac's service. He was a very curious man and had never seen a Sova like me before. And after your training, you return to your people? Indeed. Just as I had promised, I came back with a lot of knowledge. And since then, I've been working as a guard for them. My job is to keep monsters and trespassers away. What the? What's wrong, Glenn? Look over there. Countless cages full of monsters. It's all part of this facility. What kind of place is this? Are they, are they doing research on these monsters? We Sova don't interfere in the affairs of the church. Then let me answer your question, my dear. The monsters are born here. The church is raising monsters? Yes, they are artificially created and then distributed all over the world. You're joking, why would the church do that? How should I know? But it sounds pretty evil to me. Monsters spread fear and fear leads people to faith. Understandably, that's the first thought you might have. But that would be completely preposterous. I know the church is doing some heinous stuff, but something like this sounds like a bad story in an even worse play. You certainly know your stuff, Sienna. I told you. I've been here before. Remote places are very appealing to treasure hunters such as myself. Look over there. They really do transport the monsters from here onto airships. Please come, let's continue. Okay, so the Order of Leonor is, is raising monsters and sending them all over the world? And Sienna knew that and just never mentioned it? What? Doesn't make a lot of sense. I mean, can we interrogate this guy? With this new load of monsters, we've probably caught up to the facilities in Hikondria. The Pope will be pleased. Huh? What, what are you doing here? I don't know. Can we arrest you as a criminal? What? Why are they... All right, this is very strange. It's a very odd development, uh, especially for Sienna to like already know that they're doing this and then not offer any more explanation about what she learned? Uh, let's see. None of those. And none of those. What do you have to say? Hey, th this place is off limits. Yeah, because you're doing crimes here, lady. 
like worldwide war crimes. The grand secret of the church. Wow, okay. Well. Let's see what else happens. Yeah, look, they've got like tanks that they're growing monsters in. What are you doing here? Entry's forbidden. Mato, you wanted to talk to them? To be honest, I don't think I can do anything. Wait, what? You, you said you'd take care of it. Looks like we've got to take care of it ourselves. <laughs> Damn it. I'll notify command. What are you doing? Y you must not touch the church. Mato, what did you expect would happen if you let us here? M Mato? Where is he? Something's afoot. We have a bad feeling. Let's find these ruins quickly. Yeah, Mato's betraying us. Another in the long line of, like, suddenly introduced characters who immediately betray us and then are never heard from again. You there. What do you have to say? It's been two weeks since It was born. If we can keep it alive for at least a year, we can call this a success. She's thinking about some sort of grand enemy boss fight type creature that we're going to have to face, I guess. Ah, you, you haven't seen anything. No, we've seen everything. And when you inevitably try to kill us to keep it silent, you will fail. But in the meantime, we're very disturbed. Huh. Okay. Oh, that thing up north. That's definitely a creature of some sort. What is that? looks like a huge lump of flesh. What are you doing here? You all need to leave immediately. Out with it! What is that thing? You said it yourself, a lump of flesh. Stop your babbling and explain. Sienna, calm down. What's the matter with you? Uh, I think we saw... So, when we... When, uh, when we were confronted by that moment of fate where time turned back and Gwen told Glenn to look into the maelstrom, right? I think we saw a flash of Sienna's past life. I think she was part of the Order of Leonor. I think she was part of the Church of the One True God. She was like a... like a... I, I mean, the Valkyries are part of uh, Terran's forces, but she was like a female knight of some sort. Seems like she left the church behind. And we're finding out part of her past now. Is it a failed experiment? Doesn't look like it can do much except sit there idly. Failed? Not at all. It's exactly what it's supposed to be. A life form that has an incredible amount of ether stored in it. Ether? But why? What's going on here? A High Inquisitor of the Church. Sir Raphael, if I'm not mistaken. I'm completely unfamiliar with this facility. All these monsters. Your Excellency, what is the meaning of this? S Sienna? What are you doing here? Uh, well. <laughs> Explosions? There you are! I told you to wait at the entrance! Run! This whole place is going to blow up! What? Otto, what have you done? Explanations will have to wait. <laughs> okay, maybe maybe he's not betraying us. Don't be in such a hurry. General Godfrey. Well, 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 Princess Celestia, the traitor. Let us through or we'll all go up in flames. Go up in flames? What's so bad about that? <laughs> What are we going to do? We don't stand a chance against him. That's right, so die! Raphael! I don't know what's going on here, but this place belongs to the church, and none of you have any business here. How sweet. You think with your sword you can stand against my flames of hell? <laughs> How strong are you? 
Damn! This sword is blessed by the light of God. Burns much harder than any flame you wield. You have my respect. A mere human achieving such strength as yours is astounding. But it's still just the strength of a human being. What is he doing? Feel the power bestowed by the Grand Grimoire. Oh my god. Feel the power of the gods! Raphael! Now to you, traitor! We have to fight. Are you out of your mind? He didn't have time to channel his magic, and he's badly hurt. True. This is the best chance we can get to deal with this candle. We'll try blowing me out then! <laughs> Okay, a <laughs> fight against, like, super-powered, Grand Grimoire-empowered Godfrey here. All right, uh, well, let's open with an Ultra. Need that, buddy. Oh, okay, the hands are, the hands are creatures, too. Interesting. Um, I don't think Blade Reflection's gonna do much here. Uh, he can't be stolen from, but the... No, the right hand can't. But the center part can. I don't think it's time for that just yet. Maybe we'll try to take one of the hands out and see whether or not they regenerate. Let's put an X slash on Godfrey to start. And... Ooh. Disarm could be good here. What are they weak to? They're weak to water. So he does have an aqua attack. I think we're going to start with the right hand. Let's try and bust down the right hand, see whether it regenerates or not. Flame intensity raised. That could be a buff. Uh, what do we want to do here? Valor Minuet. Poetic March? Maybe we'll use a Poetic March here. We can buff everybody up. Okay, not too bad. Hmm. Uh, that's already broken. Let's just go for a cross slash on the right hand. Let's let's do some damage here. Let's see if we can get going. All right, she is now in fine form. He's weak to water, obviously. What do we want to do here? We could Kesagiri. All right, yeah, let's keep working the right hand down. See whether he regenerates and brings it back, or if we can... Wow, we took it out. Flames intensify even more. Is that a buff? Can we... Can we cleanse him? Uh, flame intensity raised. Hmm. I think... Yeah, let's bring out let's bring out um, Len and see whether we can clean, cleanse that flame intensity. No, that doesn't count. All right, that doesn't work. Fair enough. Uh, let's see. We don't have water on him. I don't think we have water on Rob either. So let's. Yeah, and his his hand came right back. So I think we just focus in on Godfrey himself here. Uh, he's currently still broken. Let's cross slash here. I think we ignore the hands and focus in on that. Um, do we swap her out? We could EI Jutsu, but yeah, we need to... We need to bring the overdrive meter down. Flames intensify even more. Uses fire belly. Yikes. Okay, that's a, that's a lot of damage. Um, I think we use... We could use Water Jump here if we had it. We don't have it equipped. Oh, we do. We don't have Water Thrust. Uh, yeah, let's use Water Jump. Flame Intensity goes down. Okay. All right, that's good to know. Uh, I think we need to lend energy here to Sienna just for overdrive purposes. All right, so Water Magic is critical here. We need to keep Len up and running. Um, her... Is he still bleeding? He's still bleeding. 
I guess we EI Jitsu? No, we didn't get the the uh, Paralyze. So Kesagiri. Uh, we definitely need to heal all here from Victor. Mainly to keep Len up and running. Lens intensify even more. Yeah, we're overheated. Okay, uh, we have to restrain here. Gotta get out of that overheat. Uh, I think we swap her here and hope that... Does he have something better? He doesn't. All right, let's just uh, defend here for a second. Uh, water jump for sure. This world isn't divided by those of lowborn or highborn status. It's divided by those who have or do not have power. That's the difference. I was born in the gutter, but with these two hands, I earned the rank of a general. I earned this place in the world. All right, he's doing his best. Another heal all here? No, uh, ah, uh, what do we need? We need a an attack here, physical attack, yeah. Power Pierce on Godfrey. Does anyone else have water magic? I don't think so. Uh, all right, for you, we gotta armor break him. She's got a water jump. Unfortunately, that's gonna help us with the overdrive. And intensity goes down. Uh, we can swap out here and then do um, Kesagiri. Very nice. Ooh, she's rough. All right, we got to swap out for uh, some healing. Cross slash. Yes, thank you. Are these the limits of my power? You're the same as Mathai. What is it with you men's lust for power? You always bite off more than you can chew. Uh, let's see. I think the Kesagiri again. There we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. A good fight. Len's water jump came in really handy for manager. Run! Quickly! Getting a uh, grimoire shard there. So this really didn't help us with our... with learning about the chained echoes at all, or the echoes of Len's past life. I guess that's it for this facility. Were you able to escape, Raphael? What is the meaning of this, Mato? You destroyed the property of the church. I'm sorry I had to trick you, but I needed you to take out the guards. But Mato, have you forgotten the oath, the oath you took? If the chief finds out about this, he... The chief and the villagers agreed to this operation. What? Why? You've been away for a long time, Egel. You've missed a lot. There's been so much suffering. The oath we pledged to the church existed because they once saved us from monsters. When we learned the truth about their activities here on Shambhala, we could guess who was responsible for that monster attack. It was the church that created the monsters that attacked us. This is the land of the Sova. The church settled here without asking and forced an oath on us without any guilt. Revenge had to be taken, and so it was. Otto. And then he kills himself? What? What are you doing? Whether or not our oaths have been wrongly enforced upon us, an oath is an oath, the most important virtue <laughs> to the Sova. Yet we have broken it. Egil, we've all decided that you can go your own way. Don't tell me that the others... No! We have exploited this group of brave adventurers for our own purposes. <laughs> and we owe them. You are the strongest of us. And the greatest help to them. 
join them. Mato, think it over. At the first ASAC. <laughs> A magic teleporter. It'll take you to your destination. Eggle, goodbye. No. No. Mato. Your Excellency, what is it about these monsters? Why all this? Seems like Raphael is questioning. Very interesting stuff. Okay. Shouldn't we help Sir Eggle? He insisted on doing it himself. I'm done. They're all buried. Eggle. They weren't always nice to me, true. I've been away for half my life, so I hardly relate to them. It's like a stranger in a village that didn't know how to treat strangers. I don't feel angrily angry. Sir Glenn. Yes? There's nothing keeping me here anymore. Sova wanted me to help you, but that decision is entirely mine. I won't have an oath forced on me like they did. Why don't you tell me what your goal is, and then I'll decide for myself whether I'll help you or not. Then let the storyteller do the explanation. I see. Okay. I understandably understand. So it's like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. what? You're a group of resistors who stole a weapon of mass destruction and are trying to rid the country of a tyrant? <laughs> uh, unexpected. But you want to destroy this Grand Grimoire, did I get that right? This is what we risked our lives for, yes. Overthrowing a tyrant sounds like a nobly noble deed as well. Alright, as a knight of the Dusk Blue, I'll join you in good conscience. Uh, with your permission, of course. Proud member of the Sova community on Shambhala. He was sent to the surface to gather knowledge about Eldrea and bring it home. It was there that he met the knight Sir Isaac of Dorver and became his squire. At the end of his training, he returned to his homeland. Because of his naivety, or naivety, na I can pronounce words. Because of his naivete and inability to fly, he's often bullied by the others. You may accompany us, provided you promise not to stand in our way. How great, he's coming along. He looks so friendly and fluffy. Excellent, so let this be my new oath. I protect the Crimson Wings and support them in their quest to free Volandis from its tyranny. Uh, I don't think we need an oath, but welcome aboard, Sir Egil. Mato said the teleporter to the sanctuaries at the first ASIC in the north. Let's head there. Okay, so it seems like all of the Sova committed suicide as well. A pretty dark end for what seemed like a very friendly people. Very unfortunate. Um, all right, let's take a quick second here to go into our skills. Let's see, what else do we have here? Um, arms break, defense stance, fire strike. None of that seems all that great. Counter attack is pretty strong. Um, I think he already has counter attack from a gem. But yeah, let's let's pick up counterattack for Glenn here. Uh, let's continue. Let's take a look over here. Requiem, defensive buff, status ailments. I don't think we need any of that. Let's focus in on uh, stat boosters, and then for Eggle over here, it doesn't really do damage. So I don't know about any of this. Um. We'll just go for some stat boosts. For Sienna... I mean, blocking any magical damage could be good. It's kind of like the equivalent of Shadow Step, but... I think we'll focus in on... Stat boosts for her as well. Uh, for Rob, I think we already looked at a lot of this. We'll finish up with some stat boosts as well. Some more 
defense for magic, I guess. Uh, I guess we can give a little bit of attack here to Len. Some agility for draws wouldn't hurt. What's this? User's TP is fully restored. That could be good. All right, and then for her, uh, I guess some, yeah, some tech points. Okay. We sort of run out of interesting skills. I think I think people have mostly what I want them to have at this point. So we'll just wrap up the stat boosters and then uh, occasionally take a look at what, whenever we get points, we'll look at what else is possible. Um, all right, so we need to head out. Somehow we've missed a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of chests in this area. Yeah, we've already read that book. Can we... Where can we... We can't summon the Sky Armors in the village. I don't know how we missed two chests. I feel like we were pretty consistent in exploring this place, but somehow we did. We can't go into there. Alright, so we want to get to the... Right, the first the first one was up there by that teleporter. So actually, we can just go ahead and teleport there, right? Yeah, let's go. Okay. That's easy peasy. Oh, these we can summon. Oh, we've got well, okay, we've got some some turtles here that we accidentally uh, walked into, but they should be pretty straightforward to kill. What are they weak to? They're weak to light. We don't have light. Uh, all right, let's gear up here and just do a hornet dance, I guess. Followed by, we'll gear up and go into Piercer. That'll take him out. Oh, yeah. Quick gear up and a Wild Slash. And a Smash. There we go. All right. So, okay, so now... We can get down to this area where we weren't able to come before, I don't think. Or no, we were we were here. Yeah, we were here. Okay. But uh yeah, let's just let's just get let's just move forward with the story. I'm not worried about the two chests. They were probably garbage anyway, like everything else that we found. Ah, the teleporter. Okay. Here we go. So this should take us where we want to go. How's it looking, Bethraz? Is this thing still running? It should be. Len, come closer, please. It started up. The mechanisms in the ruins of Leonar respond to your ether. You are the key, so to speak. Let's try our luck then. Empyrean ruins. So, these are the ruins from my dreams, the sanctuary of Shambhala. Ah! Len, are you alright? Yes, I I'm fine. I don't know what's going on. Your echo is reacting to this site. We have to be careful. <laughs> Something amiss, Cress? Your lovely dog has a good nose, I must note. Wayne, you here? Uh, you've got some questions to answer. You're awfully right, Glenn. But if you seek answers, you must first pass the trials of the Empyrean ruins. Are you kidding me? I wouldn't dare. I'll accompany you and see how you fare. You want to travel with us? For a while, at least. Like we're gonna trust you. Don't be like that, Glenn. But fine. Then go without me. You can't stop me from following you, though. He... he disappeared. Was that teleportation magic without any mechanism? We certainly didn't learn that in Nice. Don't worry, I'm still near. <laughs> now go ahead. What a strange stranger. Rest assured, I will keep us safe. Well? Okay, we're here in the Empyrean Ruins. We finally reached it. Seems like it's a jungle-themed area. <laughs> Overgrown from time immemorial or something like that. I guess we move forward and start looking for... I guess we're going to have to face these trials, whatever they may be. 
Actually, we remember, don't we? It may be these puzzles because um, when we had that flashback to Len's previous life, remember she was moving that ball around? Um, this looks like a teleportation circle. We're not activating it. We have angry pig head statues. But yeah, maybe this is a series of puzzles, these trials that have been mentioned. Probably interspersed with combat, I would imagine. Yeah, okay. So if we look around the edges here, we've got a locked gate. And all right, so we need to figure out how to solve this. Um, the crumbly ones crumble. Let's see, it looks like, yes. All right, so we send this one up here first. Oh no, maybe I was wrong. Or maybe they're, maybe they don't need to hit each other. Hang on, so we can do one of them for sure. We can do this one like this. And then can we solve that one? This down? That's a reset. Okay, my bad. So, like, we can do that. Oh, this that one doesn't need... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we can send this and this. Send this over here and this down here. Um, and I think we... I, yeah, that one just goes over there. Okay, there we go. I thought I was going to have to knock them into each other, but it looks like we didn't need that. Doesn't seem like we'll be able to call our sky armors here. Yeah, no kidding. So we can't float around. More puzzles to solve. And so sooner or later, there's gonna be fights. Can we go inside these buildings? No. These lovely pig heads are everywhere. Monster fangs. That guy, okay. Okay, so this is a tutorial about the gate mechanism. That's a drop down. So wait a minute, if I go back to this part over here. You see those two plates at the gate? We need to activate them by finding switches somewhere close by. Okay, thanks, Bethraz. I That's right, I guess Bethraz and, uh, and, uh, uh, Victor have been here before, so they're familiar with this place. All right, and there's our first battle. All right, let's see what these guys are about. Uh, golems, we can steal from them. They can be canned, and they're weak to water. So let's open up with Aqua then. Although, no, he's not really about damage, but let's see, what can he do? 144? I mean, it's not nothing. Ooh, that hits everybody. Okay. Yikes. Um, all right. Well, uh, we started in on this one. Let's go ahead and hit him a few more times. That puts us into overdrive. Uh, she can definitely pilfer from him. We got a rayon fiber. Nice. And then we definitely need to heal all here. With a bunch of hits. Okay, they hit pretty hard. Um, let's see. Lowers target attack by 20%. I think we're better off using attention here. And then... Uh, yeah, we, can, we need to keep managing the overdrive bar, so we'll use armor break here. She can... Let's see. I think blade reflection is fine as well. They're doing physical attacks, so a turn of them missing is fine. Uh, another heal all from Victor gets us all kind of back to full, which is the good news. Okay, and then, uh, where are you in your health? I think we need one more hit here before we can bring Tomki out to can that guy. Let's, yeah, let's pilfer from the other one. Uh, let's see. I think we'll disarm this one. That's a critical attack, very nice. And then... No, don't counterattack. Oh, okay. He survived anyway. All right. He's, he's going to be down to like 10 hit points. Uh, and then we will uncanny encounter this golem. He's, oh, he steals quite a lot when he when he does that to them. That's another reason to use him, huh? Okay. Uh, we'll bee sting this guy. Ooh, very nice. Got the crit. The Ijitsu. We're in overdrive now. I made a mistake. Uh, let's pull you out and cleanse this guy, I guess? No. 
Um, defend, I guess. Can you head out as well? And then we'll armor break him again. Okay, that's better. Another EI Jitsu should close to finish the fight. There we go. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Okay, we got a big circle here, it looks like. So... I'm not sure, is, is this one of the switches that they were talking about or not? I Probably not, right? Yeah, they're both the same. All right, so it's just a gate mechanism. Let's keep going here. So this way leads down here to a chest with some meals. Very nice, like me, like me some meals. All right, so he's behind that. All right, so interesting. Is that on a timer or? Oh, they're not, they're not twinned. Okay, got it. So this is teaching us how the system works, I guess. Here's another fight, all right. Let's see, what do we wanna do here? Um, let's cheer ourselves into overdrive. And then, uh, I think we'll open with a blade reflection here. Uh, then we can, let's see. I think we disarm the one we're gonna work on, which I guess is this one. Yeah, we'll, we'll start working on debuffs for him. We'll throw on a beasting as well. And an armor break. Oh no, uh, we're already really high up on the overdrive bar. So I guess we'll restrain now. Followed by EI Jitsu. We need some magic on these guys, looks like. Uh, strain again. And then another EI Jutsu. Followed by, what are they weak to? Water? Yeah, let's use an off here. And maybe a pressure. No, they're strong to wind, so. Earth drums? I guess. Uh, we need a buff, so let's go with give everybody some agility. And then we can steal from them. Sure, why not? And let me go ahead and heal everybody. Another aqua. And we can finally get some actual damage in here. And what do we have here? Uh, I'm getting a doorbell. Give me one second. Sorry about that. A rather insistent DoorDash deliverer who refused to just leave the, my dinner outside the room. Uh, all right, let's let's go ahead and work on this guy now. Finish him off. Okay. Whirling punch. Sienna's almost down. Let's break his armor, and next time we get Sienna, we'll trade her out for Bethraz. Yeah, these guys are weak to water, I think, so we don't have anything like that. We'll just use the dust here. And well, we can heal, but that puts us into overdrive. Well, whatever. Uh, disarm. There we go. Uh, let's just cross slash. Yeah, yeah, overdrive, whatever. Um, we'll bring her back and we can X slash again. There we go, all right. So with that, we've cleared another section of the map here. We came up from below, yes. Okay, we came up from below. So we can go left or we can go right. I think we'll start by heading left here. All right, and then we'll just check out what's over to the right as well. There's a gate. We've got a pair of gates here. Open that one. Open that one. Double up here, and then we can get through. All right, so there's two kind of like, yeah, now we're blocked from heading back the way we came. All right, so we'll head into this one, and then we'll just remember that we gotta, we gotta go back to the left side at some point. 
All right, guys, I'm going to take a break here to go eat the dinner that was just delivered. <laughs> and uh, we've also hit right around the 45-minute mark, which is about as, like as, I li as long as I like these episodes to be. But uh, when we come back, we'll continue ex exploring the, uh, the Empyrean ruins here and completing these trials to see if we can uh, get some more information about our Echoes. And, you know, it's a little frustrating because, you know, Victor and the Thras already know everything. But we, the, uh, the the gamer, the player, are not allowed to know until Len and Glenn find it out for themselves. Plus, we've got Gwen lurking around, creeping on us, watching us from the shadows like a perv. And so there's just a lot, there's a lot of moving pieces. But uh, when we come back, we'll try and find out at least one of them. So I hope you are looking forward to that. I hope you're enjoying the series. And uh, as always, I very much appreciate you guys. Uh, and thank you for watching and commenting and doing all the good things you do in my channel, which is slowly growing. I'm loving it. And uh, other than that, we'll see you next time. Take care.